Zuzi on the track. Starting this vlog off with uh, something kind of negative. So the past few days, the house that I currently live in, um, things have been going missing. We found this absolute fool that keeps coming into my garden, everyone else's garden over the road, and there's a camper van over this other road, and we keep getting nicked by this one person. And because of our CCTV, we have this mofo on camera. Shout out to you, you're an absolute goonie. And uh, I'm quite glad my dad actually kind of went viral on Facebook with your face. That's, uh, that's always good. My dad actually made a post on this situation. You might have seen it, I don't know, because it's got like 500 shares now. And that was like two days ago and I looked. God knows what it's on now. So that's actually crazy for my dad anyway. And uh, yeah, we got this fall on camera and he's known all over Facebook right now. Anyway, this is where the location where we keep getting burgled by this guy. I'll go through the CCTV footage in a minute. But yeah, it's freezing today, man. So excuse all the leaves real quick. It's uh, actually autumn time in England. This is the gate he broke through. Uh, there was a bunch of expensive ladders here. He actually uh, broke into the, one of the sheds one morning and he actually climbed over into the gardens and uh, stole some stuff out there. And he actually broke a fence down there and climbed into this garden, which is actually huge. But yeah, there was a 300 pound ladder sitting right there. That's gone. <laughs> and uh, there's also just a bunch of tools missing. A lot of them actually are my tools as well that I use. But I know it's not like anything major, but a lot of people like drama nowadays and a lot of people like seeing people get caught. And uh, so do I, to be honest. Like, when we found this guy and got his number plate, I was satisfied as f***. Like, you don't understand. Anyway, I'm going to go through some of the CCTV footage right now. That's why he's been burgling the house around the back through that gate. I've actually spotted him out the front a few times as well. We've got that footage as well. Anyway, let's go and check out the CCTV footage. Also, guys, some of you might be here. Some of you might be new. Because uh, this is not normally what I explain about. This is not normally my, my clickbait, etc. Because, uh, you know, if you're a subscriber, you guys know that I go to the skate park all the time. I film vlogs at the skate park. So if you're new here and you're interested in that sort of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. We're trying to hit... Oof. It's a big goal. And I've said this a few times, but it's a huge goal. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. It's a huge goal. We're like 75,000 away. That's, I mean, that's, that's a lot. But I believe we can do it. The way the channel, channel's been growing, I believe we can do it. Also, by the time you're watching this, hats have been dropped on the website for one day. So if you want one, go cop on the website, www.spencersmithy.co.uk. Socials are all the bottom. Make sure you'll follow them up. Let's get 40k on Instagram. There's also a 40k giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. So go on my feed, find the post, enter it. And you might win yourself a scooter part up to the price of £150. <sighs> anyway, enough plug-in. But personally, I'm making this video because I absolutely hate thieves. And this needs to stop. Like, I got robbed. If you don't know, I got robbed in Barcelona. And I managed to actually get my scooters sent back from Spain. And I, I just can't stand thieves. Anyway, let's go check out the CCTV footage. This is what you guys have been waiting for. All right, here we are in the kitchen. I've got the file right here. CCTV, 15th of November. I'm not going to screen record, I'm just going to put these into my edit file, I hope this works out. Anyway, first one, this is actually from the front of my house, so let me forward it a bit. Here he is. Look! Look at this goon! Look at... What kind of person, yeah? What kind of person comes out in front of the house, sees the CCTV, like you can see him looking at the CCTV, and just goes like... Yeah, good one mate, like what? Who in the right nerve would see the CCTV and continue to steal the house? Not even with like a face mask or anything, but in a bright blue jumper. And also check out this. Next clip. Here he is again. He's also coming a bright orange Vauxhall. Super unique car. Like, I never seen that colour in my life in that kind of car, but there he is. Look at him as he comes around the corner. Did you see that? Yeah, a little glimpse of the CCTV once again. Like, are you dumb? Like, you're gonna get busted, mate. Like, a lot of people on Facebook know. Here he goes, he comes back again. Just scoping around the house. This is, at this time, this is at seven o'clock. The first two clips were at five past and six minutes past seven in the morning on the 15th of November. Okay, now this is where actually start to go down like this is the backyard this is where I just showed you guys here he is 
breaking through the gate. There's the expensive ladder. He's on a look. Here he comes up to the shed. I didn't even know we had this footage, what the hell? I did not know we had the footage of him stealing through the shed. But here he is. Looking at the CCTV again. Just having a poke for our shed. Didn't find anything interesting. He's, I don't know what he's got in his hand right there, but... This is so annoying, like, seeing someone in your back garden that's not your family or a friend is really upsetting. Look, I'm gonna glimpse the ladder. Oh, he likes that. He likes that, doesn't he? Oh, and from what? Look at him, looks like a right scruff. Oh, come on, man. Back up, he goes back up again. And now this is the one. There you are, check this out. So it comes down. It is bright orange Vauxhall seven seater. He's getting out. He's getting out, yeah, he's coming back through. Here he comes again. This is seven o'clock in the morning. We could have quite easily we woke up at like half past seven, five minutes after this happened. Because everyone goes to work and school on these days. There he goes, takes the really expensive ladder. I know it's only a ladder guys, but it's a 300 pound ladder and it's, it's my dad uses it. We've got to fix our roof and stuff and this guy just comes along and just jacks it. So he opens his boot. Now this is, this is actually quite funny, this is, this is kind of funny. Walks back around, leaves his boot open. And then he just drives off with the boot open, with no harnesses to hold the ladder. And there he goes. By the way, all the stuff in the back of that car, like the bucket and extra tools and stuff, was actually from my neighbours. And he also robbed a caravan across the road as well, from us. Absolutely ridiculous, I think. I hope your ass gets caught, homie. And I hope you learn from this. You're an absolute melt. And to any of you guys that ever think about going to steal things from anyone, just know you're probably gonna get your ass caught. Don't ever steal. It's, it's really bad. <laughs> you, like, it's a criminal offence and I really don't condone it at all. I absolutely hate thieves. I've been robbed myself in the past. I don't really like talking about it. And I really don't like it. And I'm sure a lot of you normal people out there despise it just as much as I do. Anyway, I know it's been negative this part of the video, but we're going to continue to a normal vlog. If you're new here and you have not seen my face before, I ride skate parks. We're going to go pick up the new embroidery hats that I've dropped on the website yesterday because I'm going to be uploading this two days after because I've got a video rendering right now and uploading right now. Anyway, we're going to continue to a normal vlog. We're going to pick up the hats and then we're also going to go ride skate park as we usually do because that's how we started on this channel and that's how we're going to continue on this channel, guys. Let's get a fat session going. Let's go and check out these hats. I really hope they've turned out well. As you're watching this, they are on the website, so if you do want one early, go and grab one while you can because there's 19 available. I've made 20, one for myself, and I cannot wait to see everyone rep them because everyone's it's been a big hype for a long time now one last plug before we go Christmas is coming as you know and on dog scooters they've got discount codes if you use smith10 at checkout you get 10% off anything you want so any ski part you want could be a grip could be a whole complete use smith10 and you get 10% off so why not save some money go and use that anyway enough waffling enough plugging that's all I've been doing this YouTube video this is where it's gonna get interesting now I mean it's already been interesting because we've had a thief and a burger in our back garden stealing some uh, tools and stuff and breaking into man's yard why man why why you do this why you do this no I did not want to do this god damn it anyway let's go pick up these hats if you're new here you know I have uh, four dogs dirty bubble dash Right, so I've just picked up the hats. They're in this box right here. They're in this box right here. I've not even looked myself yet. I'm gonna have a look first. Ooh. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god, exactly how I wanted it to be. Check that out. Black on black, stealthy look. There you guys have it. The new hats are now in stock. Anyway, let's go to unit. There you go, slot you guys in there. Just uh, fly around first, can't actually rode this properly today. You know what, I might just go straight for kickless kickless or something. Some of them big Don tricks. Them apex and reaper bar tricks. Let's go for that. Woohoo! First tee.
GoPro's feeling a bit loose, not gonna lie. There we go, my strap is a bit uh, twisted. Hip transfer. Ali back lip. Oh, we flowed round a bit. We got warmed up. Let's go somewhere else. Gordon's asked me if I could bar bar flat with these massive bars. Let's prove him wrong. Feeling the kickless bar of this hit, boys. Oh, I'm not feeling that. I felt like I was. I'm dreaming. You got that? Oh, let's get that kickless bar. The music's so loud. Nice. I've been looking at this gap for a while. From here to that bank there. It's about nine foot gap. Oh, watch out, bro, watch out. The ball in. I've been throwing this trick quite a lot. It's a max flip to a no kick downhill. A lot of people always ask me how the hell to do it. I'm gonna do one on air for you and you can see what I do. I go for the onward, I mean, it's about three quarters of the way around. I literally just stop my entire momentum, so I'll stop the entire thing by gripping it. And what happens is that, it literally just comes around automatically. Back to normal camera. A lot of you guys might be interested on how we've dealt with the situation. I mean, it's a bummer now because we've kind of calculated how much he's actually stolen. It, it, it's a lot of money, but all the tools are gone and everything as well. I mean, even though it's nothing major like a car or anything, but I'll get onto that. Past We've been burgled twice before and the way this guy stole all the stuff was the same way we got burgled last time and last time my dad actually lost his Audi RS6. Yes, a very expensive car. We lost that, but we've got the guy's details off via Facebook. <laughs> what makes this situation also very sad as well is that we've contacted the police and um, it's actually taken the social media, basically my dad put a post up and it got over like 600 shares, absolutely mad. Not sure if I've told you that already. But it's actually kind of upsetting thinking that the social media, well via the social media, we actually found the guy's Facebook, the guy's name, which is I'm not gonna give his full name because I don't want anyone to go over to him or whatever. And we know about him. By the time we found all that out, the police have not even came to collect the CCTV footage. It's kind of a same thinking that the social media actually works better than the police nowadays in these like emergency circumstances because it's not just our house that's being burgled like they're jumping into the, the guys jumping into the other gardens breaking into caravans and the reason why i went in jail before was from robbing cars and stuff which was what makes me bring back to the situation where we got robbed before and the cars got stolen the same way he broke in just what makes this stupid as well this guy broke in busy hours of the morning seven o'clock in the morning and he looked at the CCTV with a bright blue hoodie and he has the most iconic car. No one has a burnt orange, bronzy, goldy kind of voxel like that. Like, no one does. But the situation's being solved, guys. I'm not going to give any details out of him, obviously. We know them personally, but we. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm okay. We're all okay. Nothing personal has been taken. Um, could always just go and buy another ladder and some more tools and whatnot. I mean, it's expensive stuff, but I do want you guys to be careful when it comes to uh, thieves and whatnot. Everyone stay safe. Make sure everything's secure in your room. Never have, like, money lying about or anything. Never have, like, anything expensive shown in your windows or anything like that. Just make sure everything's nice and hidden when you're out and stuff i know i'm quite that kind of down right now because i'm kind of bummed off the situation it's kind of scary because knowing that the guy was actually just down there that's the garden like just through there i could have seen him if i got up if i, if I would have got up at that time i would have seen him it's kind of scary thinking that was someone was breaking in and i could it, you can see this room and it's just it's not very good but um yeah that's all i wanted to say guys wallet 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 hello hello right 
Sorry to butt in again, guys, and yeah, I'm a little bit happier now because that, let's just say karma's a bitch anyway. Yeah, why do they still? God, there's no. Right, let me get that. Check it out. Fresh. Anyway, cop one at the website and in the description, top line. Anyway. No, I need to say something here. Come on, camera. One sec, one sec. Hashtag dead trim, needs to spend some fat to be fair. And yes, he is waving at the CCTV. At the time, in that picture on Instagram, he was waving at the CCTV. <sighs> and close your boot, because as he drove off, the guy had his boot open, no straps, nothing. What did you have to say? Right, I need to say something now. Listen to me, yeah. There's no point in stealing off people. It gets you nowhere. There's a lot of cons and zero pros, right? So, if it was me, I would not steal, I would gain yourself success and make something of yourself, right? Not by stealing other people's things, but by doing it yourself. So that's an inspiration from Leather Wallet coming <laughs> your way. Okay, don't ever steal off people and if I ever see your face, I will shave your head and make it look a bit better because your hairline is way back. Man's got a nappy ass head no! Anyway. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, let's smash good amount of likes in this video, your support means a lot. We'll have some banger videos coming soon guys, but just subscribe, there's actually a house party going on right now while I'm editing this video, skipping the house party for you guys, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking, I feel like I'm talking too much, um, I'm just a bit bummed over the situation, I'm just overthinking, so I'm just going to leave it here guys, merch link in bio, description I meant, I'll see you guys in the next one, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me, thanks for your help, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace. Zuzi on the track.